Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I'm going to speak about the most crucial part of the whole game, where you're gonna find some uh, rewards, you're gonna find some fun, you're gonna find some raid boss killing, which are behemoths, uh, and all these uh, aspects of the game is concluded in one thing, which is called Alliance. I will be honest, like, this game has uh, many different systems and many different aspects where you can have some fun, but most important and most valuable uh, to have fun in this game, or even to progress if you are just seeking some power in the game, is Alliance, right? There are, like, many different systems and every each of them has a different kind of fun and have a different kind of excitement in it. Uh, without Alliance and uh, like how Alliance is concluded in this game, I would say uh, like this game would have a less like 100% less fun. It would be just farming game where you are just gathering the resources to buy some, uh, to construct some constructions and some to research some skills. Uh, like everything is concluded to Alliance system and let's speak one by one what this alliance system gives us to the players so we're gonna have as much fun as possible with this one uh, whole uh, feature first of all if you are a person who likes some rewards in the game uh, there is a currency which is like member points for alliance and you are able to just simply helping your alliance members uh, just clicking on help uh, or just playing the game you, you can you can get some speed ups uh, you can get some resources, you can get some uh, gathering boosts, you can get some uh, re relocation territorial TP, uh, gathering enchanting uh, item, you can have like shield, and you can rename uh, scroll for your uh, name in the game. Also, if you are a fighting type of player, right, you like to fight enemy legions, you will want to participate in wars, and in general, like your main gameplay is about wars, uh, like this currency is called merits uh, you are gaining the merits whenever you are fighting against enemy legions and uh, like does that matter if you are defeated or a winner you still get some amount of points of course if you won the battle you will get more and if you lost you will get less uh, here it's like more fun you are getting uh, like daily supplies and weekly supplies every day these daily supplies are resetted and every week these uh, weekly supplies uh, supplies are reset right and you can see what kind of rewards you can get uh, with the merits right some speed ups some resources uh, some elixir uh, scrolls uh, and it's important for you to get as much elixirs if you are a uh, fighter in this game uh, also some gold keys uh, you can um, like one more warrant for your war pets and even war skills like war pet skills right so like this is different gameplay if you are like more a type of player who wants to have a more activity in the game you are getting rewarded right right that's why i love uh, in general uh, alliance feature in this game because doesn't matter what you are doing in this game what type of player you are you are getting some kind of uh, rewards uh, out of that uh, features uh, and yeah, if you don't like uh, this merits uh, shop, like daily supply or weekly supply, it costs 100 gems to refresh it. I would not recommend uh, like free-to-play players like me to use gems on the this feature. But yeah, who like for people who pays money in this game, you can anytime use your 100 gems to refresh and buy some more merits. Uh, there is like limit uh, uh, to the merits in this game. Uh, like every uh, start of the next week you can only say 100,000 merits if you have more than 100,000 merits uh, then other half will be deleted then you will have only 100k uh, at the start of the next week uh, now if you are a player who wants to receive as much gifts as uh, possible in this game and also you had like questions how you can collect some gems right or how to collect some treaties how to collect some speed ups right like this gift section is most important and most valuable place for a free-to-play player and i will explain right why right uh, whenever you are doing some forts with your alliance members everybody is getting some gifts and generally these gifts are only resources uh, mainly resources and some speed ups sometimes right this is like the main feature of defeating uh, forts because everybody in the same alliance is getting some 
uh, general uh, gifts. Now, rare gifts is most important, uh, like if you are in a strong alliance and your alliance members are buying some bundles, right? Or in general, paying in this game, you are getting some gifts too, like wooden alliance chests uh, or golden ones. And you can see what kind of uh, gifts you can get whenever somebody from your alliance is buying something, right? In general, like VIP points and gems are most valuable, in my opinion, for a free-to-play player. Because higher VIP store you have better for you and gems, of course. Uh, gems is like one of the main currencies in the game. Also, like uh, you can get 500 uh, VIP points uh, times 2, which means 1000 VIP points, uh, some 5 treaties, uh, 3 one, uh, 1 hour training speed up. Like you can see, you can get like amazing rewards out of this, right? And whenever you are just playing the game, uh, getting the gifts, you are like getting blessing chests gift. Uh, every time your alliance will collect the full amount of this blessing, blessing chest, you are able to get these rewards, one of each, I think, and there is a lot of percentages how much you can get. So, like, this gift section is all about free-to-play players. Uh, I, can, I understand that pay-to-win players are getting uh, the rewards, but they are paying in this game, they have these rewards, uh, doesn't matter how. So, for us, for uh, free-to-play players, this is the main uh, feature. Uh, from where we're gonna get a lot of power and we are going to catch uh, the, some strong players in the game. This is like main feature why I always advise to be in a strong alliance to get as much power as possible, to be as active as possible, so strong alliances will be uh, open for you to receive your application, right? Like if you are not in a strong alliance and people are not paying money in this game, you are not getting these uh, gems uh, and all these rare gifts. You are only farming some forts and you are hoping these forts will be enough. But it's, it will be never enough because you won't be able to get gems out of fort farming, right? And gems are main currency in this game. Uh, next. Uh, as you can see, there is a technology tree, and uh, like this technology only applies to alliance and alliance members. It's nothing to you personal, right? Of course, you're gonna get some army buffs, but it's whenever you are on alliance territory, right? But what you can get from here, as you can see, I'm already finishing my season, and like this is a donation section for uh, everybody, right? Uh, whenever your alliance will start uh, unlocking the new skills, you can click on. Uh, like donation and when you are donating your resources sometimes it's wood sometimes it's gold so sometimes it's ore and what you are getting from that right you are getting uh, alliance points and from alliance points you are getting your personal resources your personal speed ups or this stuff so like in general being in alliance and uh, giving the alliance like um, technical minimum right like this is minimum right it, it won't be like a gift alliance 1 million wood no it's like maximum uh, 100,000 wood in a one week if that's the alliance limit or something like that right so you can you are getting more benefits by giving the alliance some little amount of uh, resources which you are gathering like almost every day right so this is a great uh, feature, you are getting some points, from that point you are getting some rewards uh, and Alliance is getting more skills which is beneficial for you and for everybody who is on the same Alliance, right? So a great thing to know and don't forget every time you have a donation, uh, like daily donations, uh, try to do your maximum, right? So you will have as much Alliance points as possible. Also, regarding resources, right, like uh, we spoke, you are giving the resources to Alliance. Uh, territory buff, like whenever people are gathering in your territory or like in general, your Alliance has a big territory with a couple of fortresses, you are getting day like hourly uh, resources, even like every single one of them, gold, wood, ore and mana. All you just need to do is come here and click on claim and that's all, like easiest uh, and the like, safest uh, way of farming resources is by this. So if your alliance has a big territory and you have a lot of fortresses, a lot of towers, uh, some fire, like in general, like if you have a big alliance, uh, like this number seems small, but uh, imagine uh, claiming it every 12 hours or 10 hours or 15 hours, right? You will have a pretty good amount here. Uh, 
uh, which is like free. You are not doing anything. You are just being a part of the uh, big group of the people who you like to play with, which is called Alliance, right? So some free resources for you if you are playing with your Alliance. Great stuff. What else? Like help is one of the most important features of the whole game. And what is help, right? Uh, I'm going to go to my town and Alliance Center, right? We're going to go here. Uh, the Alliance Center means is a, 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 like more Alliance Center levels you have, more helps you will have here. Health is like whenever you are uh, building a construction or uh, like uh, upgrading some skill uh, or even like uh, upgrading some policies, right? Your Alliance members have a chance to help you to reduce the level of the research or level of the construction speed. And for every each... Um, your, for every each building level of your alliance center, you are getting one uh, help. So currently, I have twenty eight helps, and you can check like how much, uh, like reduced sixteen hours, reduced two days and fifty four hours. You can see what kind of benefits you can get by being in a good alliance and by uh, having a uh, alliance center on a high level, at least twenty four. That's what I would recommend, and of course. Uh, we're gonna go to the behemoths, like, without your alliance members and without your, uh, like, in general alliance, you won't be able to defeat any single behemoth, uh, that's a true fact, uh, and behemoth is like another gameplay of the Call of Dragons, which is very cool, once in a while you are going and fighting raid boss, like, there is a couple of them, right, and every season sometimes we are... We have a new uh, behemoth in the game, such as Frost Dragon. In this season, this Frost Dragon is a new one. And, uh, like, of course, if you have defeated every single each of them, then you can make it even harder and defeat the elite raid boss. They are, like, same, but additional skills and additional stats in general, and way, way harder, in my opinion. Also, if you want to, like, show up, and you like to like show people how strong you are. Every each of behemoth has a timer on elite one, and if you succeed and kill this behemoth in time, you are getting the frames. And people like these frames, right? And this is a great addition to the game. And of course, without alliance, you won't be able to do and have any of this. That's why I need to mention the behemoth farming in general, right? Also. Uh, whenever your alliance are having war uh, between another alliance, you will be able to uh, summon uh, the behemoth which you have captured, right? So, yeah, like you are farming behemoth, you are capturing them and using for your own advantage, which is a great, great feature. Uh, I think I think it's a great addition. Sometimes it's getting boring whenever there is like a lot of behemoth, but yeah, what you can do, if you like the capturing, then you need to uh, have fun of defeating it one and once uh, again whenever enemies are uh, summoning the behemoth. And, of course, one of the most fu uh, fun things in the game is a war section. Now, without wars, this game would be, like, way, way, way more boring. Uh, like, does not, like, it would not matter how strong you are. It would not matter how many troops you have. It would not matter how you built your heroes, right? Uh, everything matters whenever you are fighting and when, whenever you are competing against another alliances and another, another uh, legions and another players, right? This is how and why this game is great uh, because like, like Call of Dragons has one of the best uh, fighting gameplay in all Kingdom Builder games, in my opinion. And uh, like this is why this game is so big. Uh, and it will be get bigger uh, in the future, in my opinion, right? And, like, without Alliance, we wouldn't have wars. And without wars, Alliance and, in general, game would be really, really boring. And, it, like, a lot of things would not matter in this game. Uh, this is, like, my main guide about Alliance in general. And I would, rec I would repeat one more time. Uh, this is, like, one of the most important aspects of the game. Trying to get as in an Alliance as strong as possible. So you will get a lot of gifts, so you will be participating in wars to get more gifts and rewards from the merit shop. Uh, in a strong alliance you will have a high technology, which is important for every single member. In a strong alliance you will get a lot more resources. In a strong alliance you will be able to defeat more and more behemoth. And if you are not in a strong alliance you won't gonna get these frames. So this is like most important in this game. Alliance 
being friends uh, with loyal alliance members, being active while in a good alliance. So this is like one of the my most important uh, advice for every to play players: try to get in a good alliance. This is all I wanted to speak about this matter. I hope you are liking the content. I hope you are pressing the like. I hope you are pressing the subscribe because that's what makes me uh, smile at the end of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you very very soon.